Hi there, Pava. Let's take a look at this essay that you've sent about social media. Uh, let's see. Do you believe that this is a valuable tool for news and that the advantages of news sharing on social media? Okay. Um, one of the things that I'm concerned about this topic that you have supplied us is that it doesn't read like an actual IELTS um, act um, question. Because of the way it's worded, it's very, very wordy. And typically, IELTS topics are not so um, so long, really. They're usually a lot shorter. And so that's my first concern. Um, but this is what you decided to write on. So OK, I'll, of course, correct it. Um, do you believe it is a valuable tools, tools for news and the advantages outweigh the disadvantages? All right, let's see what you wrote. One of the things that I want to tell you for sure is that I'm not a huge fan of your paragraphing. You really would um, do well to stick to a four paragraph structure where you have an introduction, two body paragraphs, and a conclusion. Um, there are a lot of, um, this fits really the vast majority of um, essay tasks that you might get. So I want to encourage you to try to do that, and uh, that's something I can give you for sure more details um, about. Um, in the meantime, let's look at what you wrote here. There is a controversy in people's points of views nowadays whether or not modern social media and information technology are detrimental for our society. In this essay, we'll discuss both points of view and make a relevant conclusion. All right, now... Um, have you seen the band descriptors for uh, task two? If you look at band seven and you look at task achievement, it says presents a clear position throughout the response. Throughout means from the beginning to the end. So that includes your introduction. So what that means is that one of the things you need to do in order to get a band seven is you have to make sure that your position is clear from the very beginning of your essay. When you do this, we'll discuss both points of view and make a relevant conclusion. It's not clear. In fact, in all likelihood, I'm not going to know what your position is until you get to the conclusion. So um, that pretty much puts you out of the running for a band seven in task achievement. Um, I'm not also a very huge fan of this kind of language. We'll discuss both points. I mean, it's an IELTS essay. You're writing by yourself. So there's really no reason to put the first person uh, plural. It just sounds kind of strange. So um, you could just make it passive voice and that would sound better. So in this essay, both points of view will be discussed and relevant conclusions will be made. Much better, okay, than this kind of artificial unnatural will. All right, so let's move on. Although the 20th century media was crucial for our ancestors, it failed to deliver some issues like feedback option or resharing information. That pitfall of obsolete means of communication restricted both people's perspective and news reach. Okay. Um, all right, let's continue. On the contrary, nowadays, all right, on the contrary is absolutely the wrong. People really overuse on the contrary when they really just mean in contrast. On the contrary, is used in a very specific, very different uh, context. So, in contrast, nowadays, after a three-decade evolution, the comma, the situation is reversed. Not only did the newspapers and TV go online, but they also give a feedback option for their customers. Commenting on an article usually enriches both the media and other clients. Secondly, the social media networks permit sharing news and useful information on a personal level. For example, it is particularly beneficial when a bodybuilder delivers new muscle workouts through Instagram rather than going on air. Okay, is that news? All right, okay, fine. Despite, okay, we don't say despite of, we say in spite of. With despite, it just has to be noun, ing, or the fact that. So despite the benefits listed above, Social media are often harmful in the way that they, you're missing um, a pronoun here, they, or it, most people use social media as one thing, uh, the way it defames other people. When a profane 
comment, no S. Wait, I don't understand this. When a profane what? Profane is an adjective. So where's your noun? So I'm very confused. When a something comments on something he is deficient in, this is wrong vocabulary here, both profane and deficient are incorrect. He may spread misinformation that can transform into hate speech. The trolls, by the way, comma, do it intentionally in order to show off. All right, this kind of language feels very um, conversational. It doesn't really feel like uh, it would be appropriate to an IELTS essay. Now, IELTS essays are not um, entirely formal or not entirely academic. But you still want to avoid things that make it sound like you're talking to your friend. So you wouldn't want to use words like trolls. And this, by the way, also feels very conversational, not really appropriate to this context. Okay. Uh, what you could have said instead is, uh, incidentally, many people do this uh, just uh, for effect or just to show off or something like that would be okay. Additionally, due to our social nature, we all want to be involved in online participation. The consequence, however, is an addiction that may result in health issues such as lack of sleep or headaches. Okay. Social media. Okay. To conclude, I would say that social networks aren't black and white. They may be of more benefit in situations when people discuss COVID treatment or harmful when a juvenile spends time online swaggering. Okay. So uh, a lot of things to talk about in this essay. One thing that I told you I really didn't um, agree with was your paragraphing. Paragraphing is something graded in uh, the coherence and cohesion criterion. So this would not do well uh, for a couple of reasons. First of all, you didn't use paragraphing appropriately. You had far too many. All right. And um, the examiner will look at that. Another problem is, is that there wasn't really a clear um, progression of your ideas, okay? Um, you kind of, like, like this, for example, our social nature, online participation, uh, addiction, like, what does that really have to do? Like, is this really specific to this topic? So I'm not really sure. I already told you in the very beginning that I didn't entirely support this particular topic. It didn't feel like an IELTS topic uh, to me. Um, but I, what's missing here, Pavel, is you're not, I'm not finding central ideas in your paragraphs. Okay. It's like you've got these really disjointed ideas and there's, um, it's missing structure. Okay. So without a central idea, Without structure, I mean, you're running into problems. Um, I'm seeing the problems both in coherence and cohesion as well as in task achievement. Um, I would have done this in an entirely brand new way, okay? So do you believe that this is a valuable tool for new news and that the advantages outweigh the disadvantages? All right. Um, yeah, like at some point you kept talking about social networks. So when I think about social networks, uh... I don't know. Um, let me think. You know, last incident. People from around the world can weigh in and share opinions. Yeah, I. Let me read it again really quickly. So what you really needed to do was develop this essay in such a way where you had two body paragraphs where each body paragraph was focusing on one overall general overriding issue. So for example, that could be um, because of the way this is phrased, you would have to have the advantages of sharing the news on social media. And then you would have another paragraph talking about the disadvantages of sharing news on social media. Okay. And then um, you would have to develop those. But this felt to me like a really... Um, just very stream of consciousness, no structure, no sort of, uh, linking of your ideas and no, um, kind of plan as to how you're going to do this. Okay. So that's something I want you to think about.
So I checked to see if you sent us a task one. I did not find one in your email, so it looks like I'm just correcting this. Um, I really want to see you on the course. I think you're just going to find it very, very helpful it's going to tell you how to organize your ideas, how to get a high scoring essay, how to make sure you're answering the questions, how to develop paragraphs that are cohesive, that, you know, have a central idea and that uh, just work together both on the sentence level, the paragraph level, but even on the essay level, all of these have to link together. Okay, and so I really want to see that option for you. Um, so take a look, see if that's something you're interested in. We can talk more about this. Um, so, right, like I said, for me, one of the biggest problems definitely was coherence and cohesion with all this paragraphing, the ideas, the lack of a central idea. I mean, coherence and cohesion really suffered in this particular one, okay? Um, all right, so let's uh, see how we can get you on the course and get you started, all right? And I'll look forward to more S's from you.